So here we have the Ford Cougar uh, ZTEC on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And above that, uh, within the trip computer section, you can see the total miles on this car, which are 16,084. Uh, above that, we have various different bits of fuel economy information. You can view them all individually, as you can see, or you can have the four that you saw initially, or you can have... Uh, the digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed on the screen uh, as we speak. To make those changes, I was using these buttons just here, beneath which we've got cruise control and speed limiter. Over on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls including the voice activation for the phone in the middle there. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. There is of course once you pair the phone up and that is done by pressing the phone button here and then following the, the uh, instructions up on the screen at the top just there. So uh, music wise, firstly, you can see that we have FM radio. We've also got uh, DAB and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, we've got uh, various different options. So two separate U USB inputs. We have Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, so once you pair your phone, not only will you be able to make and receive phone calls, but you can also stream your music wirelessly as well. Uh, and we have a CD player on top of that. The CD player, you can see just there. The main volume for the stereo is there. And the buttons I was using just a moment ago to access various different music types are all here. Beneath that, we've got the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, temperature, direction of the air, and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning off in this case, or back on again. And I say you can adjust the fan speed from there. Uh, in terms of winter, and when you've got the temperature around to hot there, we've got a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. Just hit that button and that'll do the front screen for you. This button turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. We then have a six speed manual gearbox beneath which we have this 12 volt charging socket. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.